Welcome back, everybody, to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to have some fun. Uh, we're going to start off the episode by uh, dealing with some things here in the storage container. Um, so we've got a bunch of glass to break open. We've got some suspicious thingamadoodles. we got some glowing minerals. This is all just straight up selling stuff. And we have an extra salvaged frigate module, which we're going to sit on just for now. So first thing is, let's go over to our terminal. And uh, I am currently in a pirate system. Um, so I just want to see... Okay, so this is a positive, so we're going to sell this parcel of... Susan, what was it? Um, let's see... That... No, no, we're selling that stuff. That's negative, that's negative. So we might want to... Alba, Alba human pearls are... It's not enough in the negative to make that big of a difference for those. Um, these, however... Uh, 708 million, it's 10% under, and this is 9% under. Hey, you know what? Let's just sell them. Let's just get it done. It's not that big of a deal, and, and I'm going to show you something really cool here um, that we're going to do to start off. So the plan for this episode is twofold. We're going to we're gonna do some piracy because I did a little bit more piracy off camera, and I made like 30 million space bucks, guys. In about for about 15 minutes of work so we're gonna do we're gonna do some piracy on camera just to show that uh, but let's break all this stuff open first and see what we got and then uh, in the latter part of the episode my plan is to take us uh, to a derelict freighter and and do that and see if it actually works now okay so let's pop this open that's just giving us those very valuable minerals um and also by the way i did um I did refresh all of the fleets, and here's some footage from doing that. Okay, so yeah, had to do some repairs there, but uh, overall, pretty successful uh, expeditions, and uh, we'll continue on with that. Uh, so let's see, let's go into here, and we're just going to continue to drop off this stuff in there. Okay, now let's um, break open, um, we'll start with these things next. So that's giving us modules. And that's giving us stuff. That's giving us more stuff. Okay, and then, uh, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to break open all of these glasses. Okay, so this is what we ended up with. Um, let's go ahead and put the crafting stuff away first. We'll turn the lar larval core into nanites. Uh, so let's put all this stuff in here. That's a sellable item. That we got to do something with. What do we do with this? Sell at trade terminals. 
Um, okay, yeah, so we'll just sell that straight up as it is. Same thing here, I guess. Right, so this is a species record J beetle something or other mineral record substrate. Uh, yeah, so I guess we just sell those, okay? Um, so we'll put the antimatter, that stuff, that stuff in there. We got a star chart for a sentinel. Oh, nice, a sentinel boundary map. That'll be cool. Uh, we can take out some sentinels with that. All right, let's take and put away the. Uh, we'll put the star chart in here for now, and also the Viking effigies. Those could go in there. Let's go over to here. Oh, you know what else we're going to do? We're going to actually go to the Anomaly, and we're going to get the Atlas Pass level 3, because I just want to do it. Whether it's worth it or not, we're doing it anyways. Okay, so that gave us 50 more nanites there. That takes care of the larval core. Um, now we have all of these Sentinel weapons shards that we just got. Let's take a look at those. Um, so we'll sell that stuff. Um, let's go to our, our trade terminal. And um, that sells for positive, so we'll do that. And then... Fusion core 45, yeah, that's not enough worth en enough for us to go to another system for that. And I think that takes care of that stuff. Okay. Let's go back to here. <clears throat> okay, so now we just have all these modules to check. And, and the thing about the modules is I could turn them in for nanites, but dudes, I got almost 20,000 nanites. We're, do <laughs> we're doing really good on nanites. Uh, and, and we are also, at the moment, sitting at 173 cool million units uh, and change um, so what I would prefer to do with all of these if we decide not to use them is to break them down because we get wiring looms among other things from them so they're worth it from that standpoint uh, so let's start looking at each one of these and see what they're giving us this is a mining beam module um, so that means we need to make sure we have at least one spot on our um, multi-tool here to put that in place just so we can see what it's going to do. All right, so let's put that there. All right, so this gives us 6% heat dispersion. Not even close to as good as the ones we have. Okay, so what we'll do with this is we will dismantle it. And what that gives us is a wiring loom, some carbon, and um, yeah, looks like that's what it gave us. Okay. We want to keep the pulse better there. Okay, so this is a infra knife module. So this would go on our starship, and we actually have a spot for it. So let's let's check this out and see if it's better than what we currently have. All right, so this will give us four percent damage and six percent fire rate compared to. Yeah, not as good as the other modules we have so once again we will break this down and we get a wiring loom some cadmium and some silver for that let's put this in our exosuit all right next um this is a scanner module so i think this is going to go here so what does this do that gives us scan radius 10 percent 10,000 fauna, that's not bad. That gives us 9,000 fauna. 10,000 fauna. And this gives us 7,000 fauna. The fauna is where all the money is. <clears throat> so, I'm thinking... We're going to lose out pretty significantly on flora and mineral but we're going to gain and, and scan radius but we're going to gain fauna and fauna like I said is the, is the one that really gives us the money so I'll tell you what we're going to do we're going to we're not going to whoops we're not going to melt this down we're going to save it uh, what am I doing multi-tool so I'm going to save this one. 
and we're going to put this one in its place. So we get more money for animals, less scan radius, less money for all the other stuff. But the animals are the you know where the money's at with this, anyways. So I think that was a good move. Okay, cool. So let's take in. Uh, let's see where I'm at here. I want to store. Wait a second. No, I want to go here. I'm like all mixed up here. Uh, so I want to store this. We're not going to get rid of it. We're going to hang on to it because it's a good module. But I think the other one is, overall is going to be better for us. Okay, what's next? Um, let's look at this. This is a cyclotron module. And um, we already have some cyclotron modules. Cyclotron. You know what we'll do with this is... Well, here, let's look at it first because if it's... You know, we'll be able to tell pretty quickly if it's if it's wimpy. Some of these are really, really good, and some of them are really, really bad. So you have to just kind of look at them to see. All right, so that one, yeah, you know what? I don't think that's that good. We're going to melt that down. We're going to get the parts for it. We don't use the cyclotron anyways. That doesn't mean we won't possibly use it again in the future. I did try it for a little bit, and it was okay, but uh, I prefer the infra knife. And the phase be much, much more than the cyclo cyclotron. It's a mouthful, isn't it? Okay, what are these? This is life support module. So that means, yeah, we have a spot here we can put it to look at it. So let's go ahead and install this. All right, what does this do? Solar panel power and 103% on life support tanks versus... Oh. That's already better than this one, isn't it? Significantly. Okay, so we're going to... We're probably going to melt this. Let's melt this one. And we'll put this one in its place. All right, cool. Um, let's try the next one. What does this give us? 48 solar and 6% life support. Yeah, that one sucks. Okay, so we're going to melt this one down. See, we're already up to five wiring looms. Look at us and our bad self. Yeah, I think that was a good trade. This is this is actually a really good one here. Cool. Okay. So um, so we have eight of these. What is this for? Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, one of these jobs. Okay, this, this only goes with um, the... Yeah, you know, the, the original gun thing that escapes me what the hell it's called right now. That looks really good, though, doesn't it? All right, you know what? We might save that in case we ever do decide to go back to the, to that weapon. Well, let's look at this one. New support tanks. Um. Oh, right. Okay, so we need to be comparing that to these. So we got 10 solar, 77 life support. No, I don't think that's as good overall as what we have. So let's melt this. Let me, here, let me look at this one again. 65 solar, 104 life support, 33 health, and 32 shield strength. Oh, my God. That one's good, actually. That one's really good. Um, at least probably to, to replace this one. 104 life support versus 71 life support. 65 solar versus 46 solar. 33 health versus 33 health. And 32% shield strength, but this one does not have. We're melting this one, and we're keeping this one. Okay, let's keep looking here. What does this do? Shield strength and sprint distance. Um... Not really. Nope. We'll melt that. Nope, that one's wimpy. Core health and sprint distance. No, not as good as any of those. Melting that. We're getting lots of wiring looms from this. 
Fuel efficiency, solar power, power, and sprint distance. Nope, I still don't think that's going to be as good as these. That's got less fuel efficiency, but it's got a lot better other things. Yeah, okay, melt that. Uh, nope. Not as good as what we have. And then finally, this one here. 48 solar shield strength sprint distance. No, I mean, this is pretty good for sprinting, but... I think I would rather have more health and shield strength and fuel efficiency and that sort of thing. 48 solar, 38 shield. Yeah, no, let's melt that. That one's not bad, but it's still not as good as what we got. Okay, now we have a couple of um, thingies here. What does this do? Yeah, this is the one for the, uh, you know, the the main weapon, the, the the or the most basic weapon. I can't remember what it's called, but the bolt caster. Yeah, that's what it's called, the bolt caster. Um, that doesn't look terrible, but I think we're just going to melt it anyways. Honestly, I don't see myself really using the bolt caster moving forward because just because I like the I like the shotgun and uh, the pulse spitter more than those and we still need to we need we still need to do the the laser beam one too which we haven't tried yet it's on the list okay what does this give us uh nope we'll melt that down okay where are we at right here nope not that good Oops. Back to here. Nope. Nope. I'll take the wiring looms, man. Nope, not really. None of these are particularly impressive. What about this one? Nah, not really. Nope. Two more to check. Mm, not really. I mean, for me to keep one of these, it would have to have some really big numbers. And we have not seen really big numbers. Okay, cool. So that means we now have... We've got 13 wiring looms and basically all of these other resources out of all of those um, modules, which is pretty darn good. Let's put that pulse spitter one back in there. Not bad at all, man. Not bad at all. Okay, so let's see. We need to go to here. And drop off all of this stuff. Man, we got so much pug jam at some point. Uh, I probably should start turning some of these into nanites. You don't really get a lot of nanites for them, but we just, you know, we have the stuff coming out our ears, man. So, oh, speaking of which, I need to make a bunch of nanites with um, all of that runaway mold that I got from those thingies uh, that I showed in the montage in the last video. We've got a bunch of them. Okay, so we're sitting at 23 wiring looms there. All of the rest of this stuff is going to go in either this bin here, which will be the oxygen and the condensed stuff. And all this stuff goes over here. Oh, I was going to show you guys something back on the home planet too that I discovered. I don't know if we're going to have time to get to that in this episode. We, we might have to hold off on that until the, the next episode. Anyways, I've got all of these runaway molds. So here's what we're going to do. Let's grab one stack of those, or, or a thousand to be precise. And we're going to... So we get 50 per. So that means we're going to get 200 nanites per stack. So I'm going to refine all of these off camera. I would have actually already done this, but I just forgot to, to do it. Um, but we'll get the first batch started. And then um, for the Pognium, 
we get 10 per stack. So not all that great, but we just need, like I said, we just have so much of it that we need to start getting rid of it. So again, I'll work on getting all of the runaway mold and all of this extra pugnium refined off camera. Um, so for the time being, let's just put the extra stuff in here and not put it back in the main inventory so I know to come over here and grab all of this. That's overflow there. Right. So yeah, I'll work I'll work on that off camera. And um, if you guys are, are really interested, you can here, let's grab actually all of that. You can do the math if you want to from what I just showed you in terms of how much we'll get. But we'll get um, several thousand more nanites out of the deal. So not too bad at all. Put these back in here for the moment. I'm just gonna stick this stuff in here too, just because we're going to come back in here to grab all of this runaway mold to make the nanites. Very good. Off-camera stuff, like I said. Okay, so, what else is in here? Did we get everything out of here now that I wanted to do? Yes. We're sitting on that salvage frigate module. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to do some piracy. Um, so I'm going to do a save point here. And uh, we are already in a pirate system. Uh, and it's a Gek pirate system. The Gek hate me, by the way, because I've been, well, you know, preying on their ships. Um, and what we're going to do is go do some piracy, and we're just going to see how much money we can make in a given period of time. Alright. So the idea here is to make money, check frigates. Um, I really need traders. Traders, I only have one trader. I've got quite a few of the, all the other kinds. But I mean, let's just, let's check them anyways. So basically, the, what I do here is I check the frigates, and then I just blow up the fleet and get all the stuff. Um, if I was just doing this purely for making money, I wouldn't bother checking the frigates. But So we can't really kind of... We're not really, really going to count that in the time that we're going to count in terms of how much money we can make in a given period of time. So, but let's look at these first, because normally you wouldn't do this if all you were trying to do is make money. Okay, we're not taking this guy because he's got damage and he doesn't have very good numbers, so he's all automatically declined. You're denied. Okay. Um, let's check this guy. Now oh, that's a support, a support specialist, so we're all automatically denying them. If you guys happen to know if it is worth it to get a couple support specialists, let me know in the comments. My everything that I have heard. Uh, you know, from watching some YouTube tutorials and stuff like that, is they're not worth getting. But if that has changed, maybe in a recent update, definitely let me let me know. The thing that is a little bit, it, it's a very minor irritation because I'm very much enjoying doing the whole frigate thing and the fleet. But it seems a little weird that me, as the complete and total and all-powerful commander <laughs> of this fleet, is the one that has to go in and manually run around to do all these repairs. It just doesn't seem right. Anyway, um, so let's see what we got here. This is a combat specialist. Um, he is... He's a C. Oh, he's been on lots of expeditions. He's got, he's got pretty high numbers, though. But he's also got some bad points there. So, yeah, we're going to decline him. Um, as you saw in the little um, excerpt that I showed you from the fleets, I, um, I already have... Was it two ships? Or at least one ship that's graduated already to you know Class A, which is really cool. Because every, every frigate that I have, I, you know, started with C. Did we check this one over here? Let's go take a look real quick before we start loading these guys up. Okay, I think this is another combat. We don't really need any more combats. We What we need more than anything is traders. Uh, combat specialists, numbers are not that good. We're declining automatically. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, we are going to prey upon these fleets. <laughs> and I'm going to start the clock on my... Uh, I'm going to start the clock on my watch here. Whoa! <laughs> okay, first of all, this isn't my watch, it's my phone. And secondly, I just dropped it on my keyboard and recharged my technology, so there you go. Um, I'm going to start the clock on the phone, 
and we're just going to see how much money we could make in a given period of time. Uh, probably about, I'm, I'd say like a 10 minute, 10 to 15 minute session. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Um, we're starting at zero and let's do this. The other nice thing about doing this is we get tons of free frigate fuel. Alright guys, we are in a three-star system, and so now what we're going to do, let's see, my stopwatch is right at about 29 minutes at the moment, and so what we're going to do is we're basically going to sell everything in our starship inventory and everything in the freighter inventory that we transferred over. So we're currently at $174 million. Um, I did kill a couple of... Uh, outlaws in the process too which you know I don't know gave us probably another three to four hundred thousand so you can do that you know you might as well do it when you're doing this because it's really easy to do and it's just extra money but we're just gonna start at 174 million and then we're gonna go to sell and what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell everything that is in our inventory that we got from raiding so like this full stack of gold for example um, the counterfeit circuits notice all of this stuff is in, in, uh, in demand it's positive for selling uh, which one of you guys uh, mentioned to me you know to come back to these systems and, and not sell it in the pirate system so I appreciate that uh, so I put a few, I had put a few things into my own inventory now what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch to the starship inventory uh, by the way we got six salvage frigate modules out of you know about you know 25 30 minutes of work there too all right so let's sell all this chromatic metal all this gold Magnetized ferrite, uranium. Um, we'll keep the gold nuggets and all that. DNA samples, band weapons, prismatic feathers, first spawn relics, gra gra, moon ether, counterfeit circuits, ionized cobalt, silver, gek relics. Uh, we'll keep the tritium. And freighter inventory. Okay, chromatic metal, gold. Magnetized ferrite, platinum, moon, ether, gra gra, stolen DNA samples. Okay, so now we are sitting at 251.5 million dollars, guys, for 
just a little over 30 minutes of really fun grinding. <laughs> we got to blow stuff up and we made that much money in 30 minutes. Plus, we got six more salvaged frigate modules, um, among other things. So, I mean, that, I don't know, that, that seems to be the way to make money in this game. I mean, I mean, I know at some point, and uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do this in this series or maybe in a future series. I know at some point we can set up huge farms, you know, that, um, that will, um, harvest gases and stuff like that that can make a ton of money too. Excuse me. But, I don't know, this, I, I really enjoy doing this. It's fun. Uh, I don't think the gecko would enjoy me doing it, but it's fun. A, B, we get salvage frigate modules out of the deal. Um, and we make a ton of money. I mean, 251 million dollars, you guys. That is nuts. That is absolute nuts. What did we start out? It was 170 something. I, I gotta go look. Hold on a second. Okay, so yeah, we started at 174 million, and we are now at 251 million. We made 77 million units, you guys, in 30 minutes, and six salvage frigate modules on top of that. That's that's pretty good, I gotta say. And we had a lot of fun doing it too. Now it's dastardly, of course. You know the poor Gek. We preyed upon the Gek, but you know what? Actually, uh, for those of you who are in the know. Apparently the history of the Gek is they were kind of a, a dominant warrior race anyway, so it starts a little bastards right. <laughs> At least that's how I justify it. So anyway, yeah, that is some damn good money, you guys. Whew. Okay, um, we're also up to twenty thousand nanites. You know what? We have some quicksilver too that I, we got from doing some quests. So you know we're gonna we need to take a look at uh, maybe up in our our aesthetic game too. Let's grab uh, this other salvage frigate module. And uh, we'll take the ones out of the exosuit, or I'm, I'm sorry, out of the ship, and put those into there. Um, I guess, um, what's this? This is a gold nugget. Let's put that into overflow, because I have some other gold nuggets in here. I'm just curious how much... You know what? I think I'm going to save these until I get them up to 100. And then we'll break them all open, and we'll compare the price from a hundred nuggets to a hundred of you know broken open just just for funsies and for money because you know we like money all right anyway we got some more salvage frigate modules so let's go there's a couple more things i want to do over here so let's go um no not additional storage base parts and upgrades okay so um was there anything else over here we wanted to get immediately yeah that's the aesthetic thing that's an aesthetic thing I, I want function first. We'll worry about form later. And that's an aesthetic thing, too. So I think we've got everything from here. Um, let's go ahead and get these um, mod modular things for our, our frigates. And then uh, we still have five left. So I think what we'll do here, this will get us to red, but that gives us more range. Let's do this interstellar scanner because then it adds both economic and conflict scanning to our ship. Okay, so we got that. And then uh, we still have one left, but I don't think there's anything else we can spend one. Well, there is actually. We can spend one on. Uh, that's appearance, technology room expansion, biological room expansion, industrial room expansion. I mean, we're going to get all of these. Let's get that one. Well, you know, maybe we'll kind of mess around with it a little bit. Uh, but this is the one that I really wanted to, to get here. Okay, so let's go to our freighter. And um, we want to build this. And we've got everything to do it. Look at that. Fan friggin' tastic, man. Okay, so now we can... Now we basically, if we look in um, the warp map, we should now have both conflict and industrial... Um, scanning just built in, which is really nice because then I don't have to get it into my starship and do it from there. I can just do it right from the freighter. Love it. Okay, we are moving up in the world, peeps. We are moving up in the world. Okay. I mean, if I ever need to get back in the Gex good graces, I just go into one of their systems and start killing pirates. It won't, won't be that hard to do or do missions for them. But right now, um, it's more important 
for us to stay in the Vikings' good graces and to a lesser degree the um, Corvax's good graces because I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know why I care. Um, there's probably a reason for it. And maybe it's because we operate out of those two, you know, those two races systems more than we do the GAC. I don't know. Uh, at the end of the day, well, I guess what I'm trying to say is if we have, you know, there's a bug here too where this thing has this in here and you can't take it out. But then if I come back, if I take this out and then I come back a little while later, then that's gone. It's really weird. I don't know. Um, anyway, what are we talking about? The races. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not that hard to get back in their good graces. <laughs> Even after all that, you know, we stole 77 million credits from them, but whatever. It is what it is. Okay, you guys. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, I was going to tell you, and some of you may have already mentioned this in the comments, uh, but I haven't seen the comments from the last video yet. I figured out how this works. This as in this. Uh, basically, what you all you have to do is you have to have an extra craft somewhere. We have the, you know, we have the... The, the rover, the little dune buggy guy, and then you just call your star ship or your freighter into whatever system you're in, and then you can, from the X menu, you can spawn in your exocraft to where you are. So that's how that works. I, I thought, for some reason, I was thinking we had to first, you know, for lack of a, what am I doing? A lack of a, a better way of putting it. I thought we had to load the exocrafts into this thing, but that's not how it works. We just spawn them to where we are, which is very useful. Um, okay, you guys. Um, the plan for the next episode, we're out of time, uh, so the plan for the next episode is we are going to go, uh, we're going to do a, a derelict freighter because A, we have a chance of getting another salvage frigate module, B, they're fun to do and they have a, they kind of have a bit of a dead space vibe to them, and C, I want to see if they're actually fixed, because the last time I tried them, which was right after Fractal came out, um, you basically would crash the desktop when, you know, as soon as you got off your ship, so we'll... So the plan will be for the next episode that we'll do a derelict freighter, and then um, after that, we might jump back into the storyline and keep advancing that, and then go from there. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. See ya.